Hi everyone, welcome back to day three of Pale Skin Week. If you're new here, my name is Anna Elaine and you have stumbled across a series that I'm running on my channel at the moment, which is a week of videos all dedicated towards pale skin. Now, I would highly encourage you to subscribe if that sounds like of interest to you because I actually do pale skin videos all the time. I just decided that in the lead up to Christmas, I would gift you guys with an amazing week full of them. Now, I would really appreciate your help in building some hype and getting some awareness around this week. So please use the hashtag pale skin party on any of your social media posts that way I'll be able to find your posts as well and repost them on my own social media so obviously as you can tell by the title today we are discussing my favorite highlighters for pale skin this is an updated version because about a year ago I did one and I still actually really enjoy all of the highlighters that I listed last time and I am repeating a few in this video but there are some that I mentioned back then that aren't being shown again just because I really did have to somehow cut it down so I really tried to select things that are more relevant say for this year things that I really enjoyed so when you finish this video and if you're interested in seeing more maybe go check that video out as well because as I say I do mention a couple of others that aren't being mentioned today I was going to do my top 10 highlighters but unfortunately this uh, sort of spread out into about top 13 I think and some of them are even cheating because they're kind of like little palettes <laughs> I think out of all the sort of cheek product categories highlighters are a little bit easier to find great ones for pale skin compared to say contours or bronzers but I will be doing more updated videos of those uh, next year sometime Time. I just don't feel like I quite have a decent list for each of those categories yet so I thought I'd just start by doing highlighters. Now before we get underway I just want to touch on the charity that this series is supporting. Pale Skin Week is proud to be supporting Hope for the Children which is a charity based out of Christchurch in New Zealand. About seven years ago Christchurch started to experience a couple of years worth of very intense devastating earthquakes and as a result there's now a huge increase in anxiety in children in the Canterbury area. My lovely brother Mitchell saw an opportunity to help these children by setting up this charity. So any money that you do choose to donate will go directly towards providing quality counseling for these children that need it, especially for those families that are struggling financially. So if you can find it in your heart to donate, even if it's just a few dollars, we would so, so appreciate it. I will pop a link in the description for you to go to. We do have a PayPal option as well, so anyone worldwide can donate. Thank you so much to those that have already donated, and without further ado, let's get into best highlighters for pale skin. So I am gonna try and order it from my least favorite to my most favorite, but this was incredibly hard. As I say, I think highlighters have a really special place in my heart and I also think all of these highlighters are incredibly different there's a lot of ones that have different finishes different kind of intensities different colors so it was really difficult for me to kind of uh, rank them but I tried to take into consideration like the price um, how much joy the highlighter simply brought me to use how flattering it was on my skin tone etc etc so the first one I want to talk about is Becca's pearl highlighter and you might be quite shocked to see this at the bottom of the list but as I said, I love all these highlighters so much, but this just so happens to be one that I don't reach for all too often. But I do think it's an amazing highlighter for pale skin. I'm not a huge fan of using these very, very icy white highlights on my skin anymore, just personally, especially for day to day. For a more dramatic evening look, this is gorgeous but this will give you a very frosty sort of silvery highlight. But I do think there's room in their collection for something that's like a really soft white gold because this is definitely like a white pearl as the name would suggest pearl. Um, it's quite icy and I think if they made a warmer version of this that would be amazing but also maybe something with a bit of soft pink running through it. I just think they've got a little bit of room where they could open up the pale skin friendly highlights. The next one is the Models Own Highlighter Powder in Peach Pearl, and this is quite a new one to my collection. I actually got sent this in a PR package a couple of weeks ago, and I got sent a lot of things from Models Own, and I wasn't impressed with much of it. I didn't really rate the brand that highly, except for this highlighter. This was amazing. I was really, really, really happy with this. It's a beautiful duo chrome that has a sort of pink peach shift. So when you put it on your skin, it looks in some lights like it's quite subtle like it blends into your skin tone that's sort of you know your sort of peachy skin tone but then in some of the lights it looks quite like a cool toned pink so it's a very unique formula it's like nothing else I have in my collection so I was quite impressed with it the formula as well itself is quite similar to the Becca I noticed um, and, I, and it's very inexpensive so I thought this was a great one to include I think I've only used it in a very casual vlog kind of get ready with me video so some of you may not have seen me use this yet but um, I will have links to any tutorials or any videos where I've used the products in the description next to like where you can buy the products so that's 
Everything's in the description, as you can imagine. The next product is the Fenty Beauty Metal Moon Highlighter. This looks like in the pan, like it would be like Becca Pearl, like a white blinding silvery highlight, but I actually prefer this to Becca Pearl because it isn't that. This is what I would call a true white gold. The formulation of this is a much more subtle, everyday kind of glow rather than a real metallic sheen. So don't expect this to be super, super bold like the other highlighters in her range. I know Rihanna did a couple that were like super, super intense, like um, what's that bright gold one that doesn't suit pale skin at all? I can't remember the name of it, but it was something funny. Um, but yeah, the yellow highlight, just obviously don't go near that if you're pale skin. Use that as an eyeshadow. But this highlight looks beautiful. A lot of people were quite disappointed in it because it is quite subtle and it's not that sort of pinging highlight that they expected. But when I got it, I was actually pleasantly surprised because I have a lot of beautiful metallic highlighters and I love having a bit of variety. I've actually had a lot more use out of the highlighter than the foundation that I bought at the same time. She's really done well on the highlighters and I know the other shades look amazing as well. They don't look quite as pale skin friendly. I think the, the, the lightest of the duos could probably work but I just haven't tried it myself. The next product is a liquid highlighter and I am not one typically for liquid highlighters. I use them occasionally, I do have a couple and I think they're great products but I just don't reach for them very often because I find them a bit more of a faff. I think this next product is particularly worth the faff and it is the Cover FX Custom and Heart to Drops in Celestial. So these are literally Tin Man highlight drops. Like you could probably put them over your whole face for a Halloween costume and look like the Tin Man. You will see in the swatches at the end of the video how metallic this is, it's crazy. But it actually makes beautiful subtle highlight too. If you want to just use the tiniest bit with a beauty blender, you can get just a lovely sheen, but you can also build it up quite intense. Sometimes I struggle with liquid highlighters because I find they lift up my foundation underneath. I'm still kind of learning how to use them, um, but I particularly like using these actually under foundation. So I'll typically go in with this first um, after primer and then put my foundation on with my beauty blender. And you don't get that really intense metallic highlight, but it certainly leaves a beautiful glow underneath. The next one is the first of the Makeup Geek highlighters that I want to talk about. This is the color that I don't reach for quite as often as the other one, which is why it's lower in my ranking, but I still think it's beautiful. And it's the color Glitz. So this is not one of her duochromes, this is just her standard highlighter powder, and it's a beautiful cool toned pink. I used to reach for this a lot more, say a year ago, I was really, really obsessed with this shade, it was one of my ultimate favorites, but I've since sort of started to lean towards more warmer toned highlights, so that's the only reason this appears quite low. The formula is phenomenal, I think it's one of the best highlighter formulas I've ever come across. Um, it's also not too expensive. I think this is around the $20 mark, so not too bad. The next one in my lineup is the Too Faced Blinded by the Light Pris Blah, what is this even called? This has so many names. The next one is the Too Faced Love Light Prismatic Highlighter in the shade Blinded by the Light. One thing I hate about Too Faced products is like how many little names they give things. But this is a gorgeous champagne highlight. If you want something that has the like sort of look, I guess, of like Becca Champagne Pop, but you're very fair like me and that shade doesn't work on me, unfortunately, then I would suggest grabbing this one. I know some people weren't so keen on the formula. They didn't think it was very good, but I think it works very well and is quite strong. Um, but I do feel like you might have to sort of break through the upper layer, um, a bit similar to the Laura Mercier highlighters. They You kind of have to scratch through that upper layer which I think they have to put on to keep the the pattern really beautiful because um, the Laura Mercier ones come with a like swirly pattern and these come with obviously that jeweled pattern and so I feel like they have to put some kind of film on it just to keep that looking pretty and then once you've broken through that the formula is amazing you'll see in the swatches that this swatches beautifully the next one is a more subtle highlight and it is the bare minerals invisible glow powder in fair to light i reviewed this earlier this year and i really fell in love with it very quickly this was one of my favorite releases from like the first half of 28 oh my gosh i'm getting ahead of myself this was one of my favorite releases from the first half of 2017. this is a lovely kind of cooler undertone so it's kind of more of a soft pinky highlight but it's definitely that more pearlescent sheen, similar to like the Fenty Beauty Metal Moon. It's not going to give you a metallic shimmer at all. The next one though will give you a metallic sheen and that is the Laura Mercier Highlighter in Devotion. So this is what I was talking about before when I was referencing the Too Faced Highlighter and how this one had like a bit of a film on it almost when you first get it so it can be a little bit underwhelming the first time you try it but I suggest getting your highlighter brush and really giving it a good scratch like get rid of the upper coat because then underneath it's absolutely beautiful and again you'll see in the swatches how metallic this can really get. The only thing that maybe I don't like about this one is the packaging it is quite a bulky package so it's not the most travel friendly 
item but I don't I just don't typically take this one traveling I've got other ones that I can take because I'm a highlighter hoarder the next one is another affordable one or at least it's affordable in Australia and it is the Mecca Max skin halo in white gold and this is very similar to the invisible glow by bare minerals powder this is a very sort of soft sheeny highlight it's not going to give you a metallic finish but it's going to look extremely natural extremely beautiful and glowy like you can't muck this one up it's also really great for more mature skin types that perhaps the metallic sheen is a wee bit uh mutton dressed as lamb but this is an extremely flattering uh, product for all skin types and all ages i know that in the pan it does look quite deep and i was quite worried when i first got it i was like there's no way that's going to suit me um, but actually when it is on the face it looks beautiful and i've definitely done a tutorial using this so that's linked below the next one is a new one for me as well this is a holiday release i kind of just popped this in here because i was really excited about it obviously if this is a limited edition it's going to become quite irrelevant soon so this was kind of an extra throw-in but it is the hourglass metallic strobe lighting kit and i was just so, so extremely impressed with the formula of these so i really wanted to mention them but i am hoping that hourglass will release these as singles because Obviously this wee shade over here, this little bronzy shade, is not going to be a highlighter for pale skin. However, I have managed to find a really great use for it. It makes a beautiful bronzer topper. I know that sounds a bit dumb, but like if you use a matte bronzer to actually add color to your skin and then you go in with a tiny bit of this and just layer it slightly over top, it gives the most beautiful sheeny glow. You have that illusion, I guess, of the JLo glow, but you're but you're pale so it works really well for that these two work beautifully as highlighters and they definitely do work for pale skin maybe if you're paler than me they'll they'll start to get a bit dark because they're a bit borderline for me but i can definitely make them work and they look beautiful i also like mixing them so sometimes i just run my brush over both and i get a kind of nice neutral highlight because obviously this one's quite warm toned and then this one is quite pinky but I wanted to mention it because it's not very often that the hourglass palettes suit pale skin. I've had a couple of the holiday releases in the past where there'll be like one, maybe two shades out of it that I can use and there are others I just can't and it's just quite wasteful. Especially the marble palette that I got last year. I'll show you it actually because I'm still holding on to it simply because of the fact that the packaging is pretty. It's, but this was released last year and like I seriously have barely touched it all year because I just can't use the shades. like. The blushes are nice and that's it but I can't use the highlight I can't use the all over face powder it's too dark so that's kind of why I wanted to mention this because if you've always been after like an hourglass limited edition holiday palette this would be the one to get the next one is also a palette this is what I meant by when I was sort of cheating because I've kind of like made this palette up myself it is the essence eyeshadows that I use as highlighters so again it's not even really highlighters but these are just metallic eyeshadows that are amazing dupes for a bunch of the other highlighters that I've mentioned today. This first white highlighter is called Snowflake and that is an amazing dupe for Becca Pearl. And actually I got told about this one and this next one, Apricotta, from The Taylor, who's an amazing YouTuber. She's very, very pale. She's also suffered with acne for many years. So if you're interested in learning um, about acne coverage, definitely check out her channel, especially if you're pale like me, because she's, she's about maybe half a shade or a shade darker than me but she's still really 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 pale yeah so she suggested snowflake and it's amazing it's definitely a great dupe for becca pearl so you don't need to spend the money on becca pearl if you don't want to these shadows also only cost three dollars each which is amazing this next one as i said was apricotta this one i found to be an amazing dupe for the Too faced highlighter it sort of comes off on the skin like quite a soft champagne -y sheen it's really really beautiful that's probably actually my favorite one out of the four the next one is Cotton Candy and this is a soft pink and this one is a fantastic dupe for your Laura Mercier Devotion highlighter and in fact it's even a great dupe for the Makeup Geek Glitz because I mean this is $3 and this is $20. Even if you don't get as much product in it eyeshadow I think it's quite a nice way to try out a bunch of different sort of shades so you could decide whether you like cool toned highlights or warm toned highlights. And the last one over here is Go Goldie and this is a great dupe for the one that is my number one highlight so I will get there very shortly. Just be aware though that they are an eyeshadow formula so I do find them to be not quite as flattering uh, texture wise on the skin like compared to the other highlighters that are actually designed to be worn on the face sometimes I think they're a little bit too sort of metallic in that way but I think if you just use a light hand then they look amazing and obviously you can use them as eyeshadows so it's kind of a win-win my second to top favorite highlighter is another makeup geek one and this is her highlighter in lit 
Now, I've hit pan on this, as you can see, so I truly, 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 truly love this one a lot. But I've had this for well over a year now too, so it's actually lasting really well, and I already have a backup. It's a duochrome highlighter that leans from like a white gold to a sort of peach shift. It sounds like it wouldn't suit pale skin very well, but it really does. The peachiness in it is very, very subtle, and it's just enough to kind of blend in with my skin tone. It's kind of like a better version of NARS Albatross. It's got that slight sort of yellowy gold shade to it, but it's so flattering, even on my neutral to cool undertoned skin. So I would definitely check this one out. I mean, I would probably recommend getting both the Glitz highlighter and Lit, because if you're gonna do an order from Makeup Geek, you might, might as well get a couple. I actually ordered the Porcelain set, which came with glitz and then two other very very fair highlighters and then I ordered lit on its own because lit isn't actually under the porcelain category this is under just the fair category but it does work on me and I'm what I would call porcelain the other two highlighters that came in the porcelain pack were duochromes and they were like a blue based duochrome and a purple based duochrome and they're both gorgeous and they both do work really well for pale skin but I'm just not someone that typically wears highlighters that aren't like more natural colors. So I typically stay towards gold, champagnes, soft pinks or peaches that kind of match my skin. But I, I'm not really into the artificial colors of like blue, purple, green highlights, things like that. That's just not my cup of tea. But the Makeup Geek ones in the porcelain pack are amazing if you're into duochromes. My number one favorite, which if you've been watching my channel over the last few weeks, then you'll know what this one is. It is the MAC Highlighter in Double Gleam. This one, is amazing this uh just oh look i'm smiling so hard this is the perfect gold highlight for pale skin it's very very difficult to get a true gold highlight that works on pale skin because often it looks too dark uh really unflattering but this one is is amazing. As I said before, the color Go Goldie from Essence is quite similar. It's a good dupe. Uh, not like super, super exact, but pretty close. So you could always try that out before investing in the MAC version if you were a bit curious just to see how it goes on your skin. This is one of their extra dimension highlighters. I used to own MAC Lightscapade, which I'd like to put in as an honorary mention because I would actually feature that in this video if I still owned it, but I actually managed to hit pan fully and use it up. And I think I've even taken it back to MAC to get like, you know, your free lipstick when you have six empty products from MAC. That highlighter and lights compared is beautiful. It's kind of in the realm of the Bare Minerals Invisible Glow Powder sort of highlight. It's very subtle. It leaves more of a sheen rather than a sort of metallic highlight. And the lights compared has a kind of white base to it with a soft kind of pearlescent sheen. It's beautiful. So definitely check that one out as well. If you find something like the MAC Extra Dimensions a little bit too much. I know that the lightest highlighter in that collection is also amazing for pale skin. It's it's like a very white frosty color but it's got a purpley kind of shift to it that I'm just not as keen on so that's why I went for the more sort of natural option. Okay <laughs> so this is my very full arm of swatches. I only just managed to squeeze them in. I was trying to do it in order that I did the video but I just had to put my top two ones over here because I ran out of room obviously over here. This is Makeup Geek Lit. This is MAC Double Gleam. This is Becca Pearl. This is Model's Own Peach Pearl. This is Fenty Beauty Metal Moon. This is Cover FX Drops in Celestial. This is Makeup Geek Glitz. This is Too Faced Blinded by the Light. This is Bare Minerals Invisible Glow in Fair to Light. This is Laura Mercier Devotion. This is Mecca Max White Gold. These three swatches here are the Hourglass Trio. Going from the pink to the gold to the bronze highlight. And then these four swatches down the end are the Essence Eyeshadows. So you've got Snowflake, Apricotta, Marshmallow, and Go Goldie. <laughs> Look at the cover effects one, like who would actually wear it like that on their skin? It's just so crazy. But that's all of them lined up, so I hope that's really helpful for you guys. So there we have it. Those are my top highlighters for pale skin as of 2017. I'll probably make an updated list in a year's time again because I really enjoy making these videos and I like to discover lots of great products for pale skin over the years. So 
I'm just going to constantly update them. But as of today, these are my favourite. So I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. Let me know in the comments below if there are any that you think I should check out over the next few months so that I can start building my list for next time. If you missed yesterday's video, I will link that up over here for you. And if you want to go watch the rest of the playlist, I will link that over here. I warmly invite you to subscribe to my channel by clicking on my face down here. And until next time, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.